Hello everyone, Pax here. I've got a short video on how to make your own spring to use in Authentica parts, including the clinch buttons and the air ministry switch. So some things you'll need is some wire snips, the 3D printed tool that has a small one millimeter hole printed in it, uh, a spring, extra spring sourced from uh, simulation kit supplies if you have it, if not just a ruler to measure 12.7 millimeters uh, from the hole and a sharpie to mark that line. Uh, my line's a little faint here as you can see but that's approximately 12.7 millimeters. And finally you will need a uh, music wire. It's 0.81 millimeters. I sourced this from a local hardware store. It was one or two dollars uh, 36 inches in length. Um, I can probably get five or six springs out of this. So the first thing you do, as I mentioned, is you'll mark 12.7 millimeters from the hole. Oh, it's kind of hard to see the hole, sorry about the low light. Uh, next you'll grab your wire. You'll place it through that hole uh, until it comes out the other side. As you can see here, let's see if my camera focuses. Then what you do is you just start twisting the wire around. Um, the important thing is if you notice on the bottom of these wires, is they're kind of stuck together and you have to hold tension otherwise your spring will be too big so I'm just spinning it around and then it has about three active coils and so you kind of just start angling it up as you can see here until you've reached that 12.7 millimeter line and then you take that angle away and just kind of go flat against it. So you kind of get that flat surface for the spring to uh, sit in the clinch button. So as you can see it here twisted. You let it go, it'll expand to that uh, 10.4 millimeters, I believe. Then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and cut just at the bottom here where it comes out of that hole. And you have your little piece anchor piece you can discard that your spring slides off and then go ahead and cut it at the top uh, right before it starts getting straight and you've got your spring uh, this one turned out pretty well as you can see I've got the bottom of the clinch button here and it fits in just great um, and I've used this in a couple of my authentic kit parts and I've had no issues with it um, the more you make, the better you get at it. As you can see here, here's a couple of other examples I've made. And compared to the one you get from the supplier, they're pretty darn similar. So, hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.